Uh, what's up guys? So I'm working on getting completely fired up today and I just got back from the gym and I failed a 350 bench press and I want to show you the clip in a second. Um, but I just want to talk about something real quick and that is failing in the gym. See, I've, I believe now that, um, well I've always thought it, but lifting or strength gains for me is like all mental and mind state and like like psychology or, or whatever you want to call it. Um, and so every time you go to the gym, if you fail and you look at it as like a negative experience and that you didn't do something right, then it can kind of beat you down. But that's why every time I fail, I say I'm failing my way to success. So it's not really like a fail because it can push you harder and it doesn't really matter. Like for me, I don't really, I mean, sometimes I get irritated when I fail just because I wanted to get the lift, but I'm not really always looking at it as like something bad. And I've, you know, almost failed like, uh, a lift before and then the next day was able to lift like you know 20 more pounds or something like that so and also you know if you look at all these um, a lot of basically very people that have been able to accomplish very strong feats of strength they all have failed thousands of times so the only thing what I'm trying to the, my point of this video is is that the way that you look at yourself when you're failing and how you see it I believe can you know, change your psychology or your mindset state. So if you keep failing and you're like worried about, you know, this lack of strength and how hard it is and get down on yourself, it's kind of hard to get fired up to go to the gym. Whereas if you look at it as like you're failing your way to success and it's not even really a fail, it's just you're pressing and you're not really failing. If you're, you know, you're going for a weight and just because you didn't get it, maybe you got closer than you did the time before, maybe you didn't, maybe it was worse, but you're still like, you know, building like basically calluses in your mind like David Goggins says or building like up a state of mind because a lot of people say this is like central nervous system or whatever it I don't I haven't found that I some days I thought like I was burnt out but then like instantly I changed my mind state and so it didn't really matter like this I don't think that I think everything is basically mental and so um that's really just my message today is that if you keep failing at a you know a lift or whatever, instead of getting all down on yourself, just change it to something like thinking about it in a different way, that you're failing your way to success. And that's what I do. Um, sometimes I forget, but like, because today I was kind of pissed off that I didn't even get close with this 350 bench press. But I just have to remember that the last, yesterday was a complete grinder and the day before I did a 335 and then I did a 340. And so maybe, you know, my mind state is not really there. Um, and sometimes it's just like you want it too bad and you get carried away or whatever, but it's not a big deal because I can always just switch over to incline press and work on that. Um, anyways, I just wanted to share that about that. I believe it's a lot more basically the way that you see things versus like, I know people say it's all this like repetition sets and percentages or whatever. I don't really believe that because I mean, sometimes, but like, then it's like trying to find some perfect program. I mean, I just do what works for me and some people are worried about failing because of safety, but I've gotten to know my body and, you know, I just, if I'm in pain, then I'm not, obviously not going to do it, but you know, I, that's just how I am. I just kind of go after things. Anyways, I'll show you this clip uh, and let me know if you like the video and subscribe for more content. Thanks.